We're going to start to talk about the rise of Christianity in Rome uh, in this lesson today. Okay, so here's our overview for today. Um, early in the Pax Romana, a new religion known as Christianity sprang up. At first, it was just one religion practiced in the Roman Empire, but the faith grew rapidly. By AD 395, it had been declared the official religion of the Roman Empire. We're not going to talk about Christianity specifically today, but we are going to start to go through some of the origins as to how it came about. And we're going to talk more about the Hebrews or the Jewish people today, uh, for the most part, because you can't talk about Christianity without talking about that first. So as it gained strength and spread throughout the Roman Empire, Christianity reshaped Roman beliefs. So in the Pax Romana, Christianity sprang up. It was just one religion, but it eventually, within about 300 years or so, uh, it would become the official religion of the Roman Empire. It's an interesting story. And when the Roman Empire fell, the Christian church took over much of its role, becoming the central institution of Western civilization for nearly a thousand years. All right, so first of all, let's talk about religious diversity in the early empire. So there was a variety of religious beliefs and practices coexisting in the Roman Empire. Um, even though we talk about the mainstream Roman religion, there was more than just this religion operating in the Roman Empire. Jupiter, Mars, Juno, and other traditional Roman gods remained important to some people, but there were other people who looked elsewhere for spiritual fulfillment. Some turned to what are known as mystery religions. Uh, these mystery religions promised special rewards and had secret rituals. One of the most popular was the cult of Isis. Now, uh, why might the cult of Isis be appealing to some people, in particular women? Well, because it began in Egypt and offered women equal status with men. So that is definitely appealing to a certain demographic of people. Uh, there are others that worship the Persian god Mithras. And Mithras championed good over evil and offered life after death. Uh, and Mithraism was very favored by Roman soldiers, very favored. So it wasn't just uh, the Roman mythology that was practiced in the Roman Empire. There were a lot of beliefs. Uh, this is a statue, a uh, Mithras statue showing the god Mithras. Uh, Mithras is right here. Okay, so religious toleration. Rome was actually generally fairly tolerant to various religious traditions, uh, as long as citizens showed loyalty by honoring Roman gods and acknowledging the divine spirit of the emperor, meaning that the emperor was divine in and of himself. He was godly. Uh, they were allowed to worship other gods as they pleased. And for the most part, people were fine with this uh, because most people were polytheistic, which remember guys, it means they worship many gods. So they're usually fine with this as long as they got to worship their own, just adding a few more gods to the pile. Uh, they were fine with that. Uh, divisions in Judea. So we do need to talk about divisions in Judea when we are talking about uh, the rise of Christianity, because this is where some of this stuff starts. Uh, by 63 BCE, the Romans had conquered Judea, where most Jews of the time lived. Uh, this is where Jews historically came from. And Jews were devoted to their monotheistic traditions, which means a belief in one God. So this is different than what these other people who believed in many gods are going to have to face. So the Romans came up with a bit of a compromise, and to avoid violating the Jewish belief in one God, the Romans excused Jews from worshiping the Roman gods. And these deep divisions were occurring amongst the Jewish people. Uh, during the Hellenistic Age, remember, which was the age when Greek culture was spread by Alexander the Great, many Jews absorbed Greek customs and ideas. Concerned about the weakening of their religion, Jewish conservatives rejected these influences and called for strict obedience to Jewish laws and traditions. There are many Jewish people who felt like their religion was being watered down by these other ideas, and they didn't like it. They didn't like their religion being watered down and changed by the influences of the outside. You can see right here the Roman province of Judea, right here in red. All of this in white is the Roman Empire at the time. This right here is Judea. So let's talk about zealots. So while most Jews were reluctantly willing to live under Roman rule, others called zealots were not. And they called on Jews to revolt against Rome and establish an independent state. Some Jews believed that a Messiah, which is a king sent by God, would appear to lead the Jewish people to freedom. So, Jews, most Jews were reluctantly willing to live under Roman rule, meaning they weren't necessarily happy about it, but they were willing to do so for their own peace. But there are people known as zealots that were not willing to do this. They wanted the Jews to revolt. They wanted them to fight back against Rome and reestablish an independent state. The Jews did have an independent state before Rome. Some Jews believed that a Messiah, which is a king sent by God, would appear to lead the Jewish people to freedom. That's what a Messiah is. So 
So next, please do Hebrews Ed Puzzle uh, to learn more about the history of the Jewish people. 